Good afternoon, I'm Elisabetta. And I'm Susie. Hello. And we're here with Gianna Fineta, uh, animator and director, the first guest of the uh, Kaposkari Short Film Festival of this year. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. And you made your first short film in your 20s and yeah. you continued to create unique, incredible animation scenes. But when did you first find your passion for animation and how has it developed throughout your career? Uh, it was when I was at college, uh, in my 20s. And we were given animation as a project because I was doing graphic design and they, they gave us a little bit of animation. And before then, well, I've always been an only child, uh, apart from having two half brothers, but I never lived with them. Um, so I've always drawn on my own and lots and lots of drawings. And so when I was given this project and they said, you have to do, do 12 drawings a second, everybody else went, I mean, yeah, <laughs> and so that, I thought this is obviously invented for me. <laughs> and in your works, a uh, central theme is uh, the condition of women and in society, explored through the character of mm -hmm. Burial, and uh, um, what and who does she represent? Yeah, I think I think maybe when I started making films, uh, there were a lot of. Most animation is about men, you know, and so I think at that time I decided to try and make an effort to tell women's stories rather than just men. And, and because I started it then, I continued it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was, it was a response to, I think, the political climate at, at that time. Mm -hmm. um, do you find that irony and comedy, which obviously are present with most of your films, are useful tools to facilitate more serious discussions. For example, in your, in your film, short film Britannia, mm -hmm. when you discuss colonialism, is that facilitated by comedy? Yeah, um, I mean, animation is fantastic for, for delivering a message because everybody loves moving drawings, you know, it's like magic. So, um, you know, Reminds people of childhood, I think, you know. So people, you can pull people in and then go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and humor is a great way to, to deliver a message. So uh, more in general, uh, what do you think uh, the role of art uh, in, in a social discussion should be? Um, it's integral, I think, you know, you can say so much uh, with one drawing and I mean, uh, Dormier did this one cartoon once, uh, a political cartoon. It was just one drawing and was sent to prison, you know, because a, a one drawing can be an incredibly powerful statement. So art is very indulgent. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you develop your unique animation style? Was it just... The, has it always been your style since you started doing animation? It has actually. Well, when I was at college, I was doing two things because I didn't really understand animation. I didn't, I didn't understand where it fitted in in art. I knew where it was placed in entertainment, you know, and that it was cartoons and they were funny. But on the other hand, I loved uh, life drawing and the human figure in um, quite ana anatomically correct drawings. And so I think through my time doing animations, I've tried to put the two together mm -hmm. and to make humorous films that actually still look lovely and they're not cartoon, you know. They're sort of exaggerations, but not cartoons as in like uh, uh, symbols for things, you know, they're all based on observation. Um, so I think that's what I've been developing over the years. Um, we're really excited about your event later, Girls Just Wanna Draw. <laughs> it's a great um, title. Yeah, it's an amazing <laughs> title. Um, and thank you so much for coming to the festival and we look forward to hearing what you yeah, said. Oh my God, <laughs> my first time in Venice, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.